What's going on? What's going on? We back at it again. Drams on deck. And today, today we need to get one in today. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I've been drinking beers. I got some pizza and wings coming. Oh, you know what? This one right here is a nice one right here. High proof. Oh, I got this one not too long ago. That thing get busy. What else we got? We got a store pick Westward on that one from Beanie's. We got a pipe. Oh, you know what? This is some other new one I did. This Kirkland. Oh, yeah. 15 year Highland single malt scotch, sherry cast. Love sherry cast. You know what? Let's do this in. I ain't do the scotch in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this Kirkland 15 year single malt scotch, 46%. I got this as you, well, obviously I'm a Costco member. Here's the specs on the back, but you know what? This is my fair. I think it's my very first Costco malt from like the store brand. So. Uh, with that being said, it's aged and uh, you see this right here, Oloroso Sherry. So we're going to get all into it. Let's dive into it. Kirkland, 15 year on deck for review. Let's go. What's going on, baby? We're back at it again. Another hot review for you. Drams on deck. Yeah. And today we got the single malt scotch. Kirkland brand is in the building. This, as I said earlier, this is my very first um, Kirkland. I've never had one right here. Um, so, you know, I'm curious to see exactly, you know, exactly how it comes out. Um, this one right here is, uh, when I first saw the bottle, it's kind of tall. I thought it was a liter, but it's a 750 milliliter. Um, this one is aged nine months and Oloroso sherry. And then, uh, there's 15 years aged in ex bourbon barrel. So you got the bourbon and, uh, finished in, uh, Oloroso. So 46% ABV, which is a pretty good, uh, ABV, you know, preferably I like, all my uh, whiskeys at least 45% higher, preferably, at least 45. I like high proof. So when you show me something that's really, really dark and you give me upper 50s, even 60s, oh, I love it. I'm just, I, I'm, a, I'm a proof hound. So I just like the viscosity. I like, the, I just like, I think for me, not all, not all spirits, but a lot of them, higher proofs, just, they tend to have maybe, um, I think the, the flavor is a little bit more pronounced. And sometimes, a lot of times, the finish is a little long. But this bottle right here, I paid 75 bucks, somewhere around there, around 75 for this one. But when you think about it, in the world of a scotch, 15 years age dated and, uh, you know, 46%. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good deal for a sherry dram um, in the scotch world for 15 years. That's that's very good because a lot of times, you know, nowadays you got 12 years that's like $75 or higher. So this is 15. So. For the age statement alone, it's definitely worth the price point. But now we're going to see if the taste is, backs it up. So, um, like I said, man, they Kirkland, they do uh, they do a, a uh, another scotch, but it's peated as well. It's from the Isla. Never had that one. Um, they don't carry that one so much at where I live in Des Moines. Um, I think if they do carry, it's probably like only during the holidays, which is where I actually picked this one up. Because traditionally, they don't really even have this there. Um, so I, it was during the holiday season, uh, like a couple months ago in December. And so I got it. So anyway, um, you know, I think I'm, I was like, you know what, let me give it a shot. It looks good. So why the hell not? So as always, we're going to nose it. We're going to taste it. We're going to score it. So without further ado, this color game right here, I don't know if the light's picking it up. This is a nice medium, dark amber color. I like the color of it. Um, it really likes it. It's a nice golden, dark amber color. Looks good to me, um, on that one. I don't, it doesn't look very viscous. You know, I don't see the oily. I don't see the legs dripping per se. So it doesn't look to be very viscous, but we'll see in a second. So let's see what this nose has. <sighs> All right. Wow. I, you know what? I'm a little surprised that I pick up as many dark red fruits on the nose because it was only nine months in sherry. But I guess those nine months, it must have been, I had to been, I would imagine a first fill of sherry. Does it say first fill? No, nah, it does not. But anyway. I pick up molasses, like a like a peach plum, like a raisin, cinnamon, like a nice like allspice on here as well. Almost pick up like a little bit of a of a oak tannin. Um, you know, it's fifteen years, so it's going to be some you know Asian barrel. So you're going to get some oak tannin on here as well. But all in all, very nice. You, you it smells sweet too, not like over overly or absorbly sweet, but it definitely you can smell some. Some richness in there, like I said, some cinnamons, allspice, some like some raisin, like a, a peach pear, something like that. <sighs> Very nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Like I said, 46% is not bad at all. 
So without further ado, take a sip and let's see what this Kirkland 15 year has to offer. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Okay. First sip. Still first sip of the day. Palate tingling a little bit. Getting sensitized, but all in all, like I said, I would it's not super oily per se, but you do pick up a nice coating of that sherry cast. But I mean, as always, let me take two sips. First sip kind of opens me up, the second sip. Kind of saturates the palate a bit more. So let me take one more quick sip for you. Mm. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad. You pick up sweet vanilla, honey, cinnamon, brown sugar, like a little like a little cake, like a pastry cake on here as well. Graham cracker. Not bad at all. Sweet oak. I, it's, it's really good, believe it or not. You know, for 15 years, I mean, it's, well, it's not super oaky or anything. You do get a little sweet oak, but it's not super oaky. You you pick up a nice amount of vanilla cinnamon, like I said, that honey, that graham cracker, that pastry kind of thing. It it's, it tastes pretty good. I, it's, it's, you know, shocked me. Like, you know what? Kirkland, you know, at least this edition, I can't speak for all of them, but this edition has me now curious to try the peated one. The island that they have, I think that one's a little bit more expensive, the peated one. But I think, I don't remember if the ABV was, I think it might be this or ABV or maybe higher. But either case, trying this now, it's not bad. Like I said, for a 15-year um, sherry, not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, it, it slightly reminds me of, I'm not saying exactly like it, if you ever had the Balvini 12-year, uh, the Double Wood. With the because double wood is the same thing as uh bourbon and sherry. This is the this is the same as remember, this is a 15 year, but this is bourbon, mostly bourbon and sherry as well. I'm not saying it tastes exactly like it, but however, it, it, it has some reminiscence of it. So if you did enjoy the Balvini 12 year, that's one of the most common scotches you can find. You'll see that Balvini at a at a Walmart or any other that's common. So it's very easy to find that Balvini 12 year double wood. If you like that, you'll like this, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to take another quick sip. I'm going to give you a score. Mm. I just bought about um, almost two months now. So, oh no, it's not bad. It almost tastes like a little small hint of a smoke. It's not peated, but for some reason it tastes just a little small, just a small hint of uh, maybe it's gentle smoke. That's what it tastes like to me. Gentle smoke, but you still get the same. Like I said, the dates, cinnamon, you get uh, honey, sweet oak, vanilla. You get a nice lusciousness of that sherry. You know, on a sherry, I could pick up like a like a dark fruit. It could be like a berry or a peach. It's nice, man. It's really it's nice. It's not bad at all. Um, like I said, it it it's, it's, it drinks pretty easy for forty six. I mean, it it has like a little, this little small kick, maybe coming from the because I do taste this a little bit of a gentle smoke. So to me, even though it's forty six percent, it seems slightly higher on on my mouth than 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 what it tells me. So if I didn't know any better, I think this would probably be fifty percent or something like that. So, but it's a good dream. Like I said, you know, I I, I can't complain with it. It's you know seventy bucks, fifteen years. Um. I would buy it again. Let's put it that way. I mean, I think it's it's definitely for the market price. This this is not a bad dram. This is an easy sipper. I would I would get it again. Sure. Um, all in all, I, I, like I said, man, it's I'm kind of curious to try the Isla, the peated one now. Now that I try this one, it's not bad at all. If you are a, a, a Scotch guy, single malt, you like you know bourbon sherry cast. I think if you never had this before and you want something different, um, want something that may be more economical, because sometimes, like I said, you know nothing is going down. So. Um, this I think this is a value whiskey, especially for 15 years. That's the part, right? You're getting 15 years, you get a double cast for $75, 46%. I think that's more than a fair uh, a value So for the market price for something like that. So for my Scotch people, if you never had it, it's definitely a good, I think it's a good dram. Like I said, I'm not saying that uh, it's something that's going to be like Scotch of the year or nothing like that. 
But for the value and the taste profile, it definitely, definitely works. If I had to rate this one out of a 10, 10 being the very best for me, Dram's on deck. I'll give this Kirkland 15 year single malt Highland Scotch. Um, man, like I said, Sherry Cast finish one. I, I, I give this out of one to 10. Man, I give this an 825. 825 out of a 10. Solid pour, solid pour, above average for sure. Uh, for value, out the door. 825 out of a 10. It's, it's a, like I said, it's a solid one. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's above average for sure. Very good. I, I think it's a good dram. I, I would buy that one again. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a, I'm not saying it's a must cop. I have to have it. But you know, if I if this runs out, I happen to be in the store. If I happen to see it, I would I would re up on this one again. So 825 out of a 10. Good value. Good for me. Um, hope you liked the review. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Those don't cost you uh, anything. And also, let me know if you try this, because if you try this, I want to know your thoughts and your opinions. Let me know if, how this worked out for you in comparison to other, uh, what you would call, double cast uh, single malt scotches. That, that's, you know, the other contemporary one. I'm curious to know your thoughts and opinions of this. So please hit me in the comments. You guys, my drinking buddies, let me know your thoughts and opinions so we can uh, go back and forth. But like I said, 825 for the Kirkland uh, Sherry Cast Finish for Dram Zone Deck. Um, like I said, man, this is uh, Super Bowl Sunday, so I got a couple of reviews coming. But anyway, hope everyone enjoying their 2024. Hope everyone uh, is healthy and blessed out there. Stay tuned. More hot reviews. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.